please introduce yourself and tell us about your role at Casey Council. Hi, I'm Laura Baker, the Head of Smart City and Innovation at the City of Casey. So my role is to help our council and community to see the opportunity of using emerging technology to make our lives safer, easier and more efficient. So the City of Casey is actually one of the largest growing municipalities in Australia. So in order to ensure sustainable growth that's good for our community and the environment, we need to harness new forms of technology. So our council and community need real-time insights so we can all make smarter decisions. So in short, we want to become a smart city. What makes a city a smart city? It's a very good question. And the term smart city is definitely still evolving. So for us, it means that we use data, insights and innovation to make smarter decisions that benefit our community, environment and council. So we do this by utilising smart technology, including sensors, AI, so artificial intelligence and robotics to inc increase livability in the local region. So when we look more globally, some of the leading smart cities around the world include Dubai, New York, Singapore and London. And what they've really done is start to build a smart city ecosystem. So this means they get the physical, digital and human aspects all working together to ensure connectivity so we can make smarter decisions. So when we break that down, the physical infrastructure are the things that we see every day. So they're things like roads, buildings and parks. And then when we look at the technological infrastructure, it's things like the internet, sensors, robotics, driverless vehicles. And we need to get these two working together so we can generate data and therefore insights. And after these foundations are working together, the human aspect is absolutely critical. Ensuring that that data can drive new insights that we can all understand is super important because it bridges the gap between being just a tech city um, to being a smart city. So when these insights are used uh, for people to make better decisions, that's when we become a smart city. So when we look at the hard infrastructure, things like technology, physical buildings and roads, etc and the soft infrastructure of people, processes, policy and partnerships, we need these both working together. And then when they're doing that, we have a smart city in the making and that's what we're working towards in the city of Casey. How is the city of Casey helping to make collecting data easier in the community? So one of the critical aspects of data collection is connectivity. Um, so the city of Casey has invested in rolling out a LoRaWAN and LoRaWAN uh, stands for Low Power Wide Area Network. And this network will basically support our community and council and local businesses in adopting new advances in technology, including sensors and the internet of things. So the LoRaWAN technology supports these devices so that they can send uh, information really quickly on, on low bandwidth networks. So LoRaWAN is kind of like the internet, but at a really low, um, low bandwidth. So lots of really small messages can get sent really quickly. So we can get a lot of data really quickly. So for example, uh, a local community member might be able to use the LoRaWAN to connect some uh, sensors and devices in their backyard. So to understand how their water utilization is happening in the backyard, they could connect a sensor. And when soil, uh, is, soil uh, levels are getting a little bit dry, they can get a notification and then they can either go out and water the garden or they can uh, trigger an alert that will then turn on some sprinklers. So currently the LoRaWAN uh, connects devices across more than 80% of our municipality. So we have a number of gateways across uh, the city of Casey and there's a high chance that you will have access to those gateways as well. So you can check out um, the casey.vic.gov.au website around smart cities that has more information about how you can start using the LoRaWAN to connect devices in your home. So what are some ways that the Casey Council can collect and use data to make the city of Casey the most livable city in Australia? Yeah, so there's an old saying that's a bit of our philosophy at the city of Casey Smart City team, which is you can't manage what you can't measure. And so we're really still learning what um, some of those important indicators for livability are in the local area. Uh, but most importantly, you know, when we look at livability, there are lots and lots of different factors that go from making 
your life awesome to making it really frustrating and, and hard to live in. So some of the things that, that we're looking at is um, transport flow um, and understanding sensor networks that can help us to understand, you know, where, where are the, the peak issues and how can we start to um, increase the flow in, in other areas as well. There, we're also looking at um, park utilisation rates, so understanding the health and wellbeing of our local community. Are people being active? Are they getting out? Are they enjoying the, the parks um, offerings that we have? Are there other things that we can doing and where can we be placing them more effectively into the future? Um, but this year is a really exciting year because we're developing our smart city strategy to help inform us about what that long-term vision is of what it means for the city of Casey to be a smart city. And absolutely critical to the development of this strategy is to hear the voices and the thoughts and insights and inspiration from our local community to understand one what it means uh, to everyone at the city of Casey and two what data points um, do you think will help us to understand uh, livability so that we can track towards making uh, the city of Casey Australia's most livable city. So we're really excited to be working with Casey Tech School uh, and other local groups to ensure that we create a community-led smart city strategy that everyone can get excited about so that we can make Australia's most livable city. Do you have any uh, further ideas or comments to add on the topic of smart cities? I guess sort of being a smart city means uh, it's not about the technology. It means that we're connected and we're a forward thinking community. And it's important that us um, as a council can work with our education partners, businesses and community members to make sure that we're harnessing new technology so that it is good for the community and it's not just new technology for the sake of new technology. And having Casey Tech School within our um, city uh, escape is super, super important because we're allowing young people to start using this technology and then there's an opportunity for us to then transition that into implementation and start to see the smart city come to life at the city of Casey. Great. Thanks so much, Laura. Thank you.